Jessica here with A1C Wise, attainable and sustainable weight loss, blood sugar control, and A1C reduction. Your type 1 diabetes tip of the week is to set goals around activities that you have 100% control of. What do I mean by that? I talk to people time and again before they invest in my weight loss program. And what they almost all inevitably say is, well, at the end of this 12 weeks, I want to lose 20 pounds. I want to lose 15 pounds. I want to fit in a size 6 or I want to fit in a size 8 or whatever their specific goal is. And although I commend those goals because they're very specific and they're very directed, the problem with them is maybe you are going to lose 12 pounds, maybe you are going to lose 15 pounds, but the real thing that you want to focus on is setting goals around activities, like I said, that you can actually control. So for example, instead of saying, hey, in 12 weeks I want to lose 15 pounds, you can say over a 12 week time, I am going to eat this way. And then you can lay out what your meals look like, or I'm going to go to the gym at least five times a week and spend an hour doing cardio and strength training for the next three months. If you set those types of goals, I believe that it sets you up for a win or success, both psychologically and physically, because those are activities that you have 100% control over. And the important thing when you start a program is that you want to find reasons to celebrate. You want to find things that you can congratulate yourself on. And time and again, and I experienced this myself, is I would go through a week and I wouldn't lose weight. And so I would be depressed about it. So as soon as I shifted my mindset from having a goal of losing weight to having a goal to staying on track in terms of the eating and the exercise, I was able to feel like I was succeeding every single day because I was eating correctly and I was doing the workouts that I was supposed to. And lo and behold, when the 12 weeks was done, I had actually lost 15 pounds. So I believe, again, that shifting your focus from losing X amount of pounds to staying on track for 12 weeks with your eating and exercising and being very clear about what on track means is a far better goal to set for you both psychologically and in terms of actually getting real predictable results. Jessica with A1C Wise. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.